Okay, welcome back. We're looking at Ethereum Classic on the 45 minute time frame right now. Uh, what we have going on here is we can't see ETC end up breaking this low that we have right on over here that I just marked, which is at $14.89. So upon doing so, um, as long as you don't break that, you still overall would be able to claim that you are still making higher lows. Now, however, you did see that we did get a swift rejection all the way up here based off of this prior support level. Support flipped into resistance right on over here. We did take out this prior high. Now, the other thing I do want to mention here is should we end up breaking this $14.89, then it's pretty much um, anywhere's guess, anyone's guess uh, lower from there. You can see that we had this like massive volatility influx over here. We did try going to the smaller time frames and we marked 1409. That would be an area potentially, but it was just way too volatile over here. So I would be skeptical of this. Otherwise, you're going to be looking for 1361 to hold. If you end up losing that, it's going to be really bad news for the bulls and good news bears. So uh, aside from that, since we are maintaining this right now, we did end up going through the box that we had marked over here. So from that point on, we are still overall maintaining bearish market structure. Why bearish market structure for the short term, at least, is that you can see right here, we are consistently making lower highs. And what do you know? We're consistently making lower lows. So if we get rid of all that. Should we end up coming back on up? Uh, first thing that you need to see end up happening is getting back above this 1545. And really up until that point, you're still going to be pretty bearish. You need to see open and closure. We are on the 45 minute time frame, like I said. So we want to see open and closure at least on the four hour time frame. Uh, otherwise, coming back on down the, I guess, only other area that I could maybe make an argument for. We are kind of in it already, but there's just not a whole lot to really go off of. At least for this is going to be this small consolidation range. If it would like to load, that would be wonderful. Um, About 1503, that does make sense. Did we hit 1503 yet? Yeah, we did. But we went through there. Let's see, 1503. So if we do get a little bit push lower, 1503 is going to be the name. Don't wear it out. We'll do it to 15. Now, the one last thing that I do want to mention here is that is for your upside. I'm going to go over or downside. I'm going to go over upside here in a second. But the last thing I do want to mention is if Bitcoin and or Ethereum end up taking a fat dump, do anticipate uh, ETC to follow. Um, it's most likely not going to act independent or at least not act independent at this point. Um, anyway, coming up from here, where could we potentially anticipate it would actually be right around here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, wait, no. Uh... Right, like that. So that's a range between 1567 to 1564. Now, obviously, if we get past there, we should be fine. Um, I would worry less about this box that we have on over here for right now. And this one, we can actually move up a bit. So aside from that, that's really going to be about it for the time being. 1567, 1564 is first to the upside. Then after that is 1586 to 1582. Then if we were to drop down, look for about 1505 to 1499 to hold. 1499 is going to be that psychological level or $15 flat. Um, other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.